NC State had been quietly asking employees about cancer cases inside Poe Hall weeks before it closed down the building. On November 16th, the university warned students, faculty and staff that cancer causing chemicals called PCBs were found in Poe Hall and the building would be evacuated. A September 25th letter shows someone working in Poe Hall filed a complaint concerned that they were being exposed to PCBs. Now, Five on Your Side has obtained emails from October showing the university was asking some Poe Hall employees specific questions about their health. Keeler Arthur joins us now with the information that school is collecting now. Keely. Deborah, so much to get through. They're collecting very specific information only from certain people. We asked NC State to explain that and how that information is being used. They didn't answer our specific questions, and that's the way the university has been through most of this. And and that has Poe Hall employees obviously frustrated. New tonight, emails obtained by Five on Your Side show NC State began asking workers with cancer how long they worked in Poe Hall weeks before they closed the building due to toxic chemicals on November 22nd. Education professor Steve Porter says he and many others in Poe Hall, including some staff with cancer, never knew about such an email. It must not have been widespread. Someone would have said something. It's not every day that we that that, that faculty get an email from campus health saying, hey. How long have you worked in Poe Hall and do you have cancer? It almost seems like the data collection was designed to underreport. On October 12th, an email sent by the assistant dean of operations titled self-reporting indicates it is recording health data as part of an investigation. The email encourages recipients to send personal and medical information to the head of the occupational medicine department at NC State. Writing, quote, I would like to encourage as much participation as possible so we could provide as complete a picture as we can of what we know thus far. In a separate email, the head of occupational medicine asks a university employee to answer eight questions, including the number of years they worked at Poe Hall, how many hours a week they spent there, what type of cancer they have, and the date of their diagnosis. The email notes other colleagues are being asked the same. Porter, who serves as the secretary of the NC State Chapter of American Association of University Professors, says all faculty members really want is the initial report that led to the closure. We're not children. We're scientists. We can read a report. In response to the university's reluctance and the statement that the initial tests they conducted are preliminary, he has this to say. Like I said, we're not children. We understand it's preliminary. And I think she didn't quite say this, but I'm wondering if they're thinking, well, it's going to panic people. And it's like, could you panic people anymore? Yeah, there's a lot of confusion and frustration. In the last hour, the State Department of Health confirmed to us that it recommended NC State gather that data to request a health hazard evaluation. Now, this is a national program to help employees and employers understand if health hazards are present in the workplace. And DHHS confirming that NC State has made that request. And Deborah, I know that we've kind of only seen Steve front and center on this story. We have had dozens of people speak to us anonymously. Well, and he certainly echoes their frustration, I'm sure. Kaylee Arthur, live here for us. Thank you, Kaylee.